Remember our last significant snow here in central North Carolina? On December 9th and 10th, nearly nine inches blanketed our area. North of the triangle, more than a foot piled up. That one big snow event last winter brought us more than our average amount of snow for a whole season, which over the last 30 years is 5.1 inches. Our all-time average with records back to 1887 is 7.3 inches of snow each winter. And we got more than that in just one event last year. It has been a long day covering this storm. This year, we've already lived through a wild weather year. Dorian landed in early September. We had a dozen tornadoes hit the state on April 19th and the temperature hit 100 degrees in early October, but winter is coming. I fear snow, I do not enjoy snow. Oh, I hate the heat. Yeah, I'm, I'm much more of a winter guy. I don't like snow. I tend to stay inside. Inside or out this winter, the changing Pacific Ocean waters that cause La Nina and El Nino is expected to be neutral and will likely not have a big impact on our temperature or precipitation outcome. El Nino and La Nina years typically see 6.7 inches of snow while neutral years have actually produced less snow in central North Carolina since 1950. One thing that could impact our winter is ice. Not the type of Zamboni dumps out back of a hockey rink, but Arctic sea ice and snow in Siberia, Russia. Studies show that more snow and ice in Siberia could lead to more cold air down the East Coast and in North Carolina. This past October saw the seventh largest snowpack in Siberia in the last 52 years. This extra snow can disrupt the polar vortex and allow colder air to move from the North Pole into the United States this winter. The same polar vortex disruption and shot of colder air can be induced with those smaller amounts of Arctic sea ice around the North Pole. And right now the amount of sea ice is very low, giving us another marker that we could see more cold shots of air this winter. Both these snow and ice markers only have small impacts on our overall winter pattern. One thing that had a big impact this year, record heat. Despite this month's cool conditions, 2019 overall has been one of our warmest years on record. Four months this year, May, July, September, and October, ranked in the top 10 warmest on record in Central North Carolina. On top of that, winter is the fastest warming season in Central North Carolina over the past several decades. So does that mean we'll never see snow again? Does it mean your kids will never get to build a snowman or get to go sledding? No, of course not. The winter storms the past couple years are proof enough of that. But the rain-snow dividing line usually sets up right overhead. So just a little bit of warming makes a big difference in how often those snowstorms occur. So even with shots of cold air coming from the poles, will it be cold enough to turn rain to snow? Here's what we think the end result will be this winter. We are likely looking at a winter with a good mix of warm and cold spells, but overall warmer than average temperatures. Precipitation amounts will be right about average, and any extra shots of cold air from the poles may not be as cold as needed thanks to long-term warming, and blockbuster amounts of snow look unlikely. The end result will be a winter with several cold rainy days and overall average snow amounts.